<laughs> okay. That's okay. It turns to plastic? Um, I am a not human person. And my location is under your bed. Okay, this will be great. Can you talk? Can you? Well, no, it's it's a. Uh, <laughs> In the seventh well, grade, yeah. I learned but something like today. I, could I can unintentionally create rhyming poetry. poetry. She grew up kind of rough, and that's why she's a rebel today. Yeah. You're gonna be awesome, dude. In what they do. So, uh, outreach and engagement class is an inner mystery course that is uh, for the comparative arts students or the comparative arts department or comparative arts students and um, the class uh, I started the class last year um, in order to create an opportunity for students from Interlochen to get out off of campus pretty much out of the the bubble and uh, and be able to interact with uh, either a community um, or a specific group of population um, that may be um, need some sort of, of service or are in need of something. So what was kind of your first impression when you heard about this project? I was like, oh shit, home? But home is home, I guess. Um, wasn't sure. I just I was came into it open-minded. I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I came, but I thought to myself, eh, we'll try it. Why not? I was like, dude, it's kind of lame. I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't really. I mean, as much as people say family and home is important, it's like I know it's important. I just don't. I was thinking more about other concepts. So I was really nervous, so it was like, I saw everyone roll in the first day and I was like, uh, what does it mean? <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I was really nervous at first, but then like, I realized that I just have to be my outgoing self and just like talk to everyone. Hi. Hi. So this year we partnered with um, Traverse City High School and their after school programming uh, to do a, a collaboration with their students and our students. And the whole idea is that we're going to um, be together as one group, as an ensemble. And we're going to create pieces based on the idea of what is home uh, from that. And, um, and then the second week, the students will be able to present their pieces at the Denos Museum, um, and it'll be open to the public, um, where everybody can come and, and see and hopefully engage in, in dialogue and, um, and also um, create awareness and understanding of some of the issues that the students will, um, will, will come to um, from their experiences with each other and also from the research uh, that they do throughout the process. So, this is Johanna Morales. Yeah. Yeah. And we have some NMC folks here today. We've got STEP folks here today. We've got Interlochen students. We have another instructor from Interlochen that I haven't met yet. This is uh, Mr. Daniel Assad, um, and he teaches the aesthetic class on humanities for the, the comparative arts students. Um, where the students are looking at more of historical movements and how that pertains to society and their art forms. Awesome. Um, so yeah. So um, just to kind of, uh, I'll let you guys continue mingling and talking, but um, the idea is just to kind of break the ice and for you guys to get to know uh, the students from Interlochen and then the students from Interlochen to get to know you guys uh, in your community, in your environment. Um, and the idea is that in the two weeks of January when we get back from break, um, we're going to come together and we're going to work on devising different pieces that maybe could be a film or a performance piece or music or visual art uh, or some writing with poetry um, or a combination of those and we will be displaying these pieces at the Dennis Museum the second week in January. Um, so this is a really great opportunity um, and the theme that, that I'm going to be uh, emphasizing with you guys is the idea of what is home and what that means to you, what that means for other people, um, and, and how that relates to 
um, connecting it to an art form. So, um, so have conversations, see what things come up or what things spark uh, from just having a conversation and getting to know each other. Even though I think it's a little risky in terms of not really knowing what the students, how are the students will respond in, in the both from both environments, how they will respond together in one environment. Um, and I think a lot of things will come out, individual things will come out from it. I think it's a it's a risk I'm willing to take because I think that there's a really positive uh, outcome that will that will happen from this experience for me as a teacher, but I think most importantly for the students themselves. Okay. There's nothing really to it. More like an open book, I guess. Like home to me was back in the hood, enjoying my friends in the ghetto, I guess. But home to me is how what makes me happy. I hope to know more about what my home is. All right, so make sure that you're thinking about what does it mean to you, the idea of home, what is home to you? To me, home is where you're shown love no matter what. Whether that be with your blood family or with the people you care about the most. I'm all different mm -hmm. and like hang up oh. on it and yeah. just get like... <laughs> that was amazing! Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to say I feel most at home with my friends. It, not quite sure why, but that's just kind of how I am. So how's it going so far for you? What are you, uh, what are you thinking about it? Mm, I like it so far. I haven't done anything with like theater or anything like that since I left St. Francis, so it's good to do it again.
and Mary Helen are composing a song and writing the lyrics based off of our memories of home, and then I'm choreographing a piece to go to be performed with it. It's going really well. Um, Patrick wasn't able to be with us for a couple days, so we are now, Mary Helen had already wrote the song, so now we're combining some of his work and ours and trying to mesh our different ideas of home, because they're very different, um, into one song and mesh our different um, sty styles of music together. And then I'm starting the choreography process today. It involves a circle, it's like, it's like, it's like an inferno, like, like fire, like everything's burning, yeah. Um, but on the outside it's like cool, but not cool as in it's cool, but cool as in it's like cold. Because home is where you're warm and safe and stuff, and the outside is where, where like it's cold and it's like in the winter you freeze to death. Why you need a home and it's warm. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very so exposed wow. yeah. right now. Yeah. How do you think it's? Uh, how do you think this is going? Well, I'm, I'm thinking it should go well. I mean, I haven't seen them performances, but I know they're pretty good because for any, everyone here is just magnificent. So you excited? Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm scared right now. You're scared? Even though I'm being happy. You think it's gonna be good though? It's gonna be, Wait, where? It's gonna be awesome, dude. Where? Say, the people from Travers have a lot to offer. I came from a smaller town, so it's definitely an eye-opener to see kids that are like, yeah, I'm gonna go for it, you know? variety of interpretations of the meaning of home through multiple artistic disciplines. And it has been personally rewarding to see the teamwork and imagination of these young artists, so I know you will enjoy tonight's program. Thank you so much for coming, and enjoy the show. Where my family is. Somewhere or something where I can find comfort, safety, and security. Where I can be myself. A part of me is lost. When I lose someone who is my family, a part of my home, how do I fill that void? There's an emptiness around the corner and I find myself wondering what is the point and why. Nervous to never really truly understand anything until you experience it physically or emotionally and we may know things that we hold as truth or as fact but we'll never really understand it until we do it or feel it and then when you do understand it you may call yourself wise at least wiser I guess a true wise man can say that he knows nothing at all <laughs> 